We are halfway through Chicago Robinson's junior season here at Memphis, and this season certainly wasn't off to a great start for him as he was on the bench for three wins in a row, and then after taking over the starting job, he would lose his first game, as unranked Boise State would defeat then-ranked Memphis 21-14, and Chicago would follow that up with another loss as the starting quarterback at home against Tulane. Thankfully, he turned things around at the end of the last episode with two wins in a row, both against UAB and UTSA on the road, and he managed to get his team back into the top 25 polls where they were currently ranked 18th in the country and were still in contention for the American Conference as they were only in fourth place in a game out of first place. In this up and down stretch for his team, Chicago Robinson has thrown for 1,194 yards, 11 touchdowns, and only three interceptions on almost 75% completion percentage. So we'll see if this second half of his junior season can be a little bit more consistent than the first half of it was. As Robinson and the Tigers are at home, this week taking on the Army Black Knights. That first pass of the day for Chicago Robinson would go for a loss of three, looking to pick up the first down now, as that's going to be completed. Robinson would find Brady Clues for the first down, who would break one tackle and pick up more. He would go right back to him on the very next play, and now second and 13. Robinson across the middle, that's going to be completed. And the junior quarterback looking strong and confident to start this opening drive. But that RPO would fall incomplete, as now play action pressure coming they get to Robinson but he thankfully gets that pass off just in time as third and ten he's gonna dump it down and that is going to be a first down Jalilia Boa would turn that from a short gain into a first down and Robinson would go right back to him as he would haul this one in for the first touchdown of the day and just like that Memphis would take an early seven to nothing lead here over Army as they're looking to extend this drive on third and four Robinson gonna dump it off to his tight end St. Germain who has the first down and more the senior getting them deep into army territory as Robinson back to throw pressure coming and he would barely get that off in time as that will bring up now a third and one which they will easily pick up a short pass completion there to St. Germain again as now it's going to be a handoff to Deshaun Bishop who's taken it right side and into the end zone for another Memphis touchdown it's not even the end of the first quarter and Memphis is already up two possessions over army here as this will end the first quarter and moving to the second Chicago Robinson hoping to continue the great play that he's had so far in today's game Second and 10, just short of midfield. He's going to go left side, lofting this one up to Brady Clouse, who has the first down and plenty more. All the way down to the 17-yard line of Army and moving. As that completion would get them inside the 10, then Robinson to the end zone. That's going to be completed for another touchdown. This time it's Brady Clouse. And the senior receiver would put them up by three possessions, even though they would somehow miss the extra point following that play. Backed up now to a third and 16, Robinson looking for a big pass play here and that's going to be intercepted by the army defense his first of the day the junior quarterback getting a little too aggressive there for the offense but thankfully the defense had his back and would get a stop and get the ball back here as they'd have another chance to score before halftime man in motion right at midfield as it's going to be play action pressure coming from the right side stepping up and throwing his robinson that pass intended for his tight end would fall incomplete though as second and ten the junior quarterback would take another hit in the pocket forcing another incomplete pass now third and ten going left side to Brady Clouse he hauls that one in keeping this drive alive as they have 45 seconds in counting Robinson taking a shot left side inside the 10 yard line what a throw from the junior quarterback as they're looking thinking end zone here rolling out to his right Robinson no one in front of him he's gonna take it himself strolling into the end zone untouched another six points here for the Memphis offense courtesy of Robinson and after their defense got another stop that would bring us to halftime where the Tigers are pitching a shutout 27 to nothing over Army Chicago Robinson in the offense hoping they can keep up their strong level of play here is their first pass attempt is going to Robinson and instead of throwing a pass he's gonna be the intended target as he would end up dropping that one so maybe it's best if they stick to having Chicago Robinson throw the ball as he's rolling out to his right here on first and ten and he's going to the end zone that's completed for a touchdown but there's a flag
Robinson just a little too far in front of the line of scrimmage, so that touchdown pass will be called back. And unfortunately, it would result in only a field goal after that incomplete pass instead of a touchdown. The Tigers backed up to a long third and 17 here. Robinson going left side to Brady Cluse. That's going to be completed. But after punting the ball away, Chicago Robinson would not see the field again as coach would keep him on the sideline. And Memphis would walk away with a big time 40-7 victory here over the Black Knights at home. Thanks to a big game from Chicago Robinson, who was named player of the game with 278 yards and three touchdowns. That performance would get us the one last skill point we needed to be able to upgrade his power attributes. And now in an 88 overall, hopefully that extra throw power would help him and his team headed into this matchup on the road against FAU. Unfortunately, I ended up recording over this game, but we did walk away with a huge 45 to 16 victory. And Chicago Robinson had one of his best games, throwing for almost 250 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. That moved the Tigers all the way up from the 12th spot to a top 10 team at number 8 in the nation and they were looking to continue climbing the polls as they traveled on the road to take on the Owls of Temple University. Chicago Robinson and the offense would start with the ball first today as play action that's going to be a dump off to his halfback only picking up 4 yards on that play as they're going right back to the play action again and St. Germain with the reception taking that one for a first down now to the 15 yard line on the RPO it's LT Sanders across the middle as Chicago Robinson and gets his first passing touchdown of the day. But Temple would jump out to a 14-7 lead here before the end of the first quarter. Just over 30 seconds to go. Empty backfield as Robinson is looking. He's going to go across the middle. That's going to be another first down past midfield into Temple territory. As the Tigers offense looking to try to tie things up on this possession and Robinson's going to keep it himself up the middle. Making the smart decision there to slide forward for the first down. And now Robinson is going to be intercepted accepted by the defense. It looked like there was some miscommunication there between Robinson and his sophomore receiver Brady Cluse as it looked like he was going to keep going. Robinson was expecting a comeback but it doesn't matter as this is going to turn into a huge touchdown for the Tigers. Deshaun Bishop with a huge play there for the Tigers tying this game back up at 14 apiece. Robinson in the offense with a chance to take the lead back here with this drive before halftime. They're going to need more than one yard pickup though as that's going to bring up a second and nine under a minute and a half to go here in the first half empty backfield Robinson back to throw he's going to go across the middle that's completed for first down the sophomore tight end Stephen Clinton hauling that one in for the Tigers and now back to Brady Cluse they connect this time communication was clear as day on that one now Robinson going to the end zone that's going to be caught for a touchdown LT Sanders with his second of the day for Memphis and the Tigers are going to jump out to a 21 1 to 14 lead here over Temple before the first half and would get the ball back. That play would get them near the 50 yard line as Robinson is trying to get his team down into field goal range here. And a big completion there to his tight end Harrison St. Germain as Robinson would go across the middle. That's going to be completed as that would get them into field goal range and the Tigers would tack on a field goal before halftime. And Chicago Robinson now is going to put the football on the ground. I don't know what just happened there. That ball went flying out of his hands. That turnover from the junior quarterback would give great field position to the Owls and they would score their first touchdown of the second half and it was now only a three point game as the Tigers needed to get some points on this board to extend their lead. Third and one looking like the Tigers would run the ball but instead Robinson would drop back to throw dumping it off to the right side. They would just barely pick up the first down keeping this drive alive as now Robinson is hit and dropped for a loss and that drive would stall out for the Memphis offense but thankfully their defense would get a stop here before the end of the third quarter. As headed to the fourth, it was still a three-point lead. Memphis would lead 24-21. to Now on Temple's side of the field, as they weren't thinking field goal, they were thinking touchdown on this drive. On second and inches, play action. Robinson taking a shot deep to the end zone, thrown out of the back of it, though. Wildly inaccurate throw. We haven't seen that a lot from Chicago. Robinson, and on third and inches, they would end up being stuffed as Temple gets the stop. And after settling for a field goal, Temple would go down and score 
score a touchdown of their own to take a one point lead. Just over two minutes to go facing a long third and 12. Robinson, pressure in his face, that's gonna be completed for a first. Junior quarterback trying to get his team down into field goal range and take the lead back late in the game here. But they would be faced with another third down, six to go, Robinson finds an open man, it's Brady Clues who has the first down and more. Finding his way into Temple territory as now a fresh set of downs, he's gonna find Jaleel Yaboa for a first down. Robinson has been looking amazing for the Tigers so far, but now facing a third and eight, it's gonna be a handoff left side and the Tigers are gonna pick this one up. Keeping the drive alive with just over a minute to go as this is gonna be a check down to Harrison St. Germain, but he's gonna be marked just short of the first down marker. And I don't know how he picked up this first down as Chicago Robinson got taken out of the game, but Makari Botiford is gonna take this one into the end zone and give Memphis the lead late here in the game. No idea how this happened as it says on fourth and one, we kicked a 21 yard field goal and then all of a sudden Makaya Botiford is scoring a touchdown for us on the very next play. That has to be a glitch or something, but hey, I'll take it as we would get a defensive stop and Chicago Robinson would kneel the clock out and number eight Memphis is gonna walk away with a controversial 35 to 28 win here on the road against Temple. Despite that ending, a somewhat solid day from Chicago Robinson, two touchdowns, but he did have that one interception. However, it was nice to get home from that road trip and see Chicago Robinson was still performing extremely well on his exams. That win would move Memphis from the number eight spot to the number six spot in the national rankings. But Chicago Robinson wanted his team to be a top five team in the country, so he kept working hard. Because despite the top 10 ranking, they still weren't even the top team in their conference headed into this next week. This game was at home against East Carolina, so hopefully that helped give Memphis a little bit of an edge this week. And so far, this first drive was off to a good start as they were inside Pirates territory, but Robinson would take a sack here, backing them up to a very long third and 19 as he would take a shot for Brady Kluse knocked incomplete. And the first drive of the day for the Tigers would end there as they would take back over still tied 0-0, as that completion would eclipse the 2,000 yard mark for Robinson. But that wouldn't really mean much this week if he couldn't get his team the win as well, as he's gonna put the football on the ground, his teammates are chasing after it, it's going all the way back there and this is gonna be a huge loss. The East Carolina defensive line has been doing a great job today, forcing lots of pressure on Chicago Robinson, forcing incompletes and sacks. And it has just been a tough day overall for Robinson, but it was gonna get worse as he was gonna throw an interception here to the Pirates defense that would be taken back. And thankfully though, Memphis's defense would get a stop, so it was still 0-0 here as we were nearing halftime. On second and inches, it would be a play action. Robinson from under center, he's gonna dump this one off left side to Harrison St. Germain for a first down. And the ball was now inside the 25 yard line of East Carolina as Memphis was hoping to score. At this point, even a field goal would be good as we hadn't got any points on the board yet today. And Robinson was still having trouble with this defensive line from East Carolina as that sack would bring up third and seven, but they would thankfully pick this one up. Bringing up now a second and six as Robinson was gonna hand it off to Makari Botiford who would take this into the end zone and finally Memphis would get on the board for the first time today. And they had just under two minutes to try to go down the length of the field and get some more points before half. Second and three, Robinson would take a chance going down the center of the field to St. Germain for a first down. The senior tight end with a big time reception there, getting it down to the 36, and this ball was still moving for the Memphis offense. Working inside Pirates territory now is on first and 10. Robinson feeling the pressure. He's gonna get this off in time to Brady Cluse. And somehow that would turn into another first down as this drive stayed alive. It had a chance to stall out here though. Third and six, less than a minute to go. Pressure was coming and they'd get to Robinson. And that's been the story of the day is the defensive line for the Pirates forcing pressure all day on Robinson. They would come up clutch to get the stop before halftime, but they would not be able to stop them here as Robinson would find St. Germain and its senior tight end would work his way into the end zone for a touchdown. But the Pirates would answer right back with a touchdown and a two-point conversion of their own. It was now only a six-point lead headed into the fourth quarter here, and the defensive line was still forcing lots of pressure here on Robinson. But that would be a huge completion with the pressure tailing right behind him as on first and 10 now. Robinson would step up and take this himself. Down to the 11-yard line as again flushed out of the pocket. Chicago gonna take it himself. 
into the end zone as he directs traffic and that's another touchdown for Memphis as they are going to extend this lead over the Pirates. The offense staying on the field for a two-point conversion as Robinson would find St. Germain for two and their defense would set them up with great field position here third and two taking a shot hit as he throws that's going to be down inside the 10-yard line. First and goal to go from the five as Robinson finds the sophomore Brady Cluse in traffic he holds on to it for another Tigers touchdown. And that would seal the deal as Memphis would need the clock out to walk away with a victory here at home. 29 to 15 over the Pirates as this winning streak continues for the Tigers. While he faced a lot of pressure, Robinson still managed to succeed today with 245 yards and three touchdowns. And now had only one game left in his junior season. The Memphis Tigers had jumped up to the fifth spot in the top 25 polls and were now in intention to play in the American Conference Championship. If they wanted a shot at the Conference Championship though, they were going to have to win this upcoming matchup so the team worked hard in practice all week long. And finally, it was time for the regular season finale as they would travel on the road and get ready to take on the Owls of Rice University. Robinson in the offense facing a third down to start this drive as he would roll to the right and he would barely get this off in time, keeping this opening drive alive for his team but backed up to a further third and eight as he would take a shot deep to the left side and he would connect with Jacoby Banks getting them inside the five yard line on first and goal Jaleel Yalboa is wide open in the end zone and the Tigers strike first on their opening drive. Nothing happening for the Owls on their first possession with the ball so Chicago Robinson and Memphis taking back over as he's going deep again. That's going to be another touchdown for the Tigers to Jaleel Yaboa. And just like that, Chicago Robinson has helped his team jump out to an early 14 to nothing lead. It's not even the end of the first quarter, and if Memphis can keep playing like this, they will secure a spot in their conference championship no problem as they'll pick up the first down here. That was a dangerous throw, though, by the junior quarterback, but he somehow made it work. Now third and six, rolling out to the left, flush out of the pocket. He's going to keep it himself past the 50 inside the 40. Robinson picking up 21 yards on his feet with that carry is going left side now. A quick check down to Brady Cluse. That would give the Tigers another set of fresh downs here as now they're trying to run the reverse and it's actually going to work for some reason as Jacoby Banks finds his way into the end zone. I don't know how many times coach has called that play this year but it has never worked a single time. It has always gone for a huge loss for us. But finally I guess it decided that it wanted to work that time it's now Robinson taking a shot to the end zone that's gonna be a touchdown as he connects with Harrison St. Germain and it's not even halftime yet and the Tigers are up 28 to nothing Robinson hoping to try to help put his team up five possessions here as he's taking a shot to the end zone they would settle for a field goal and the Rice Owls would finally get their first touchdown of the day so it was 31 to 7 with Memphis facing another third down here the Owls wanting to get a stop and get the ball back before halftime but they could not do that as Harrison St. Germain was wide open on that corner route. Now Jacoby Banks finding himself wide open across the middle inside the 10. Bringing it down to the 7 yard line where Robinson is going to find Jaleel Yaboa again for another touchdown as he finds the soft spot in the zone and Memphis extends their lead. But this game isn't over yet as Rice is clawing their way back into it. 38-22, to only down by 16 here about halfway through the third quarter so we need some points. Defense performance definitely dipped off here in the second half hopefully offense won't though as that's going to be a nice throw down the left side to Harrison St. Germain getting the ball down to the 11 yard line of Rice play action Robinson rolling out to the right to the end zone and he's going to be intercepted by the Rice defense that is the last thing this team needed but thankfully defense would get a stop and Robinson finds Brady Clues wide open in man-on-man -man coverage and he's going to take this to the end zone to make up for that last play but it is still a very close game and winnable for any team as Memphis only with a 15 point lead over Rice ending the third quarter. The Owls looking to get a stop here on third and nine. Robinson in the shotgun dropping back to throw. He's looking. He's going right side. Knocked incomplete. While the Owls would get the stop they couldn't do anything on offense. It's now a handoff to Deshaun Bishop taking it inside the 10 yard line. And with Rice using all of their timeouts Chicago Robinson would take a knee and that would close out the final game of the 
the regular season as the Tigers are going to get a 45 to 30 victory over the Owls here on the road. And Chicago Robinson had an amazing 435 yard, five touchdown performance. That win would bump the Tigers all the way up to number three in the nation and would secure themselves a spot in the American Football Championship game next week, where they would be taking on Tulane and also fighting for a possibility to play in the college football playoffs.